Uh, Shalom Israel, I praise to y'all by seeing y'all shot. Double honors to the elders, okay? And, uh, peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's pushing this word. I just want to come with a basic sit down. Uh, basic but profound at the same time. It's basically, uh, we're going to reiterate what the Holy Spirit is and knowing what the Holy Spirit is, you understand me? Understand that we have it. And now that we know that we have it, understand that it's important to listen to that spirit, man. You know, because we're coming in dire times where our discernment is going to have to be on point, man. And listening to that Holy Spirit is going to get you out of life or death situations. GMS has been given, you know, a lot of uh, this, this, this knowledge. Now it's time for us to get this understanding, man. Must given, what's required. You know, the Most High gave us immense information via the, the elders, so now you have to utilize it. You know, all that, all that carnality has to cease because there's judgment that this is being ushered out. You know, um, yeah. do you have precepts you want to get back to? Um, it's okay, yeah, um, go ahead. Uh, Psalms chapter 41, verse 7. Uh -huh. All that hate me whisper together against me. Uh -huh. Against me do they devise my hurt. Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. That's right, man. The most I come into the, in the volume of the book, man. You know? The most I words, the statute commandments come in the volume of the book. You know? And those, you know, in that book, which is just alluding to this Bible, man, it's, 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 it's the Holy uh, Ghost, the Comforter. You know? And it's important that you, you utilize this comforting, man, to get yourself out of situations and for what it says is comfort. Because a lot of things that are going on in your life and going on in the world that you're not going to understand, you don't understand this, 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 uh, the, the, the scriptures, man. You understand? Go ahead. Yeah, Verse 8, I delight to do thy will, O my power. Mm -hmm. Yea, thy law is within my heart. That's right, that law is in thy heart, man. That just that didn't happen just simultaneously. I come from studying the scriptures, man. Getting into the word. Understanding the word, man. You know? Uh, go ahead. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. Mm -hmm. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. That's right. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. That's right. It's talking about going out there and doing the work, man. Now that you understand the scriptures, going to there, there and doing the work. You know? We're in judgment, man. But you know, that's going to something. Go ahead and uh, jump to it. Uh, I have precept to say the scriptures comfort. Yo, uh, first in Maccabees 12 and 9. Therefore we also, therefore we also, I bid we need none of these things, for that we have the holy book of scriptures mm -hmm. in our hands to comfort us. That's right, the holy, the holy uh, book, man. This is the holy book, the separate book, man. You know, that's going, that's going to keep you comfortable in this time, especially in this time, man. We always bring out Isaiah 33 and 6. Okay, well that, you know, let's get it. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. That's right. Now, if you stop, sorry for school, y'all. Now, when people bring that scripture, they always, they always alluding to the end times, man. But it said of thy times, of your times, man. What you're going through. Not necessarily when the apocalypse is happening, man. You're not going to just wake up one time and just, oh, let's go to the scriptures and, oh, I got to do this in the apocalypse. No, man. Which is, the scriptures are talking about us having, you know, uh, conducting yourself as a, as a man, not just a man, but a righteous man, read these scriptures, man, and have that discernment, man. Know what to do and what not to do in a given situation. You know? 
That's what's going to get you out of this thing, man. Constantly, constantly practicing being righteous, man. And being righteous. You know? So when that time comes, the end time, then it's going to be on point. It's going to be on point, man. But, hey, you, you catch your head right now. I mean, this, the scripture is going to help you out now, too. I mean, you got to understand that, man. That's wisdom. The correct application of knowledge. Come. Come. That's, that's wisdom, man. Go ahead, up. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, verse 1. Mm -hmm. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High mm -hmm. and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and the occupied in prophecies. That's right, all the ancient and occupied prophecies, man. It's, uh, it says in Romans 15, 15 and 4, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, everything written the fourth time was written for all learning, man. Hey, that's beautiful. Let's talk about these scriptures, man. You know, all the things we've written a full time, we for our learning. It tells you how to deal with women. It tells you how to deal with your money. You know, and also, what makes it even, even more uh, profound is it gives you prophecy, man. Precise, specific prophecy, man. So it's double for old. It's going to give you the stability in, your, in that time now, and your time will come, man. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Go ahead, huh? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's right. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of uh, wisdom. You know? A lot of brothers out there, man, you don't have fear of the Lord, man. And you think you just do the uh, things here and there. Yeah, because it's not a, uh, it's not against the law, per se. A lot of stuff that the Akiyam is doing is not, it's not expedient, man. Yeah, you can have multiple wives, man. But man, if you got two pennies, you can't don't have two pennies to rub together, then you shouldn't deal with multiple women, man. Because you're gonna get yourself trapped up. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know, you could you don't have to tell these women the truth. But yeah, you don't have to be up there hell of lying, man. You're not an attribute of a man of the Lord. And you know that too. Yeah. I don't know that, man. But the Lord said he hated lives. Yeah. Sixteen the Lord hates. Yeah. You know, if you live in a life where you constantly gotta, kind of, you can't move around without lying to everybody, you need to check check yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe you putting yourself in positions of being around people you don't need to be around. Yeah, right. But then just even okay dealing with a, with a female. Yo, know, yeah, you want to tell these women the truth. But then don't don't take that out of context, man. <laughs> and just be hella lying, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, I did it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it be like, don't blame us. I did it. Told the bitch my, uh, my old lady died in a car crash. Damn. Just outlandish for no reason, man. That was that necessary for some box? Jake's do that though, man. It's comical, but Jake can do it. Take, Jake can take it that far, man, just for some box. You know? I didn't even take it that far, but that's just an example. You know? Jake, Jake, Jake is wild, man. Don't be no just outlandish liar, man. That's right. Don't, don't do, don't be doing things that just are unexpected. That's right. Yeah, you go to, yeah, okay. Is it wrong to go to your strip club? No. But do you need to go to the strip club? You got hundred dollars in your pocket for two weeks? Yeah. No. Do you, do you know, do you need to deal with a, a prostitute? In this day and age, knowing that you don't have any money, or shoot, you might you can't deal with a multiple disease. women, or you get the disease. I got a few, sir. No. I got Go one. ahead. All right. This is uh, First Corinthians ten and twenty three. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things are. Uh, but all things edify not. That's right. All things are lawful for me, and all, all things are expedient. And a lot of things aren't edifying, man. Yeah, you go to the bar. But do you need to go to the bar all the time? And that's where these scriptures come in. Because you understand moderation. You know? And you understand sometimes, hey, it's just not, it's just not experience to do certain things, man. You got a female at a job on you. Yeah, she look good. But should you pop her? You ain't going off and she ain't, she ain't dealing with nobody. Hey, maybe it's, that's not expedient, man. 
Because if she, she uh, at the fool, and uh, she'll mess up your life. Get your personal information, man. That's right. That's right. I done seen that happen at my job. Yep. Get your personal information, call your woman's phone. Yep. Get you fired. Get you fired, man. Get you caught up. Go ahead. Huh? This is uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. It says meditate, man. Mm -hmm. Constantly, oh, in your mind, going over what's what, what's what's expedient, what's not expedient, what's lawful, what's not lawful, man. You can't take a break being an Israelite, man. That's right. This thing ain't just for sit downs. It ain't just for uh going out there and screaming at white people, man. You have to actually live this thing, man. And if you don't, you'll get yourself caught up. Trust me. Go ahead, out. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. That's right. That you may observe to do according to what's written in the scriptures, man. To do what's right. You know? Don't be out there just, just, just walling out, man. Just because it's speak and just because it's lawful. We gotta understand the time that we're living in. We're in the last days, man. You know? Yeah, you got brothers up there that had multiple women, you know, had multiple wives to be done with, man. But that ain't not your life, man. That's right. Just the woman you dealing with giving you hell. How you gonna deal with another woman? You know? <laughs> but they don't wanna admit that, man. They're super Israelites. They can deal with multiple women. That woman give you hell, man. She talk about breaking up with you. You gonna uh, write write a brother a uh, two page uh, uh, text talking about how you should kill yourself and man. this this and that, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about Samson. <laughs> <laughs> he was righteous. He did it. Jacob do that, man. So maybe you should chill out. Maybe you should chill out, man. This uh. Does anybody have anything else? Yeah. Like, if you got some, bring them on up, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, I got this, I got this uh precept here and then a definition. This is uh Sirach 4 and 20. Mm -hmm. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil. That's right, it's, hold on, brother. Observe the opportunity, man. No. I'm constantly thinking, oh say, should I say this or say that? Especially at work. You know? Because one little thing that you say can get you caught up. One little thing, man. Oh, the like the right thing that you say can get you out of a lot of trouble, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's most, the most important with the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You know, just like the brother read in Corinthians, the 10th chapter, uh, it may be lawful, but not, it may not be edifying. So, if, if you if you deal with brothers, you might have a set of brothers that, that you know, y'all spirits connect and things like that. You could be doing something that could, that could be a summer block unto that other brother. Or you can say something that that to that can um, quench the spirit of another brother. So you gotta be uh, paying attention and, and observing everything that you that you do to, to be edifying to the body of, of Yahweh, Bashi and Yahweh That's right, man. That's right, man. Uh, this, the, the biggest thing, man, is being edifying, man. You know, that's that's the biggest thing in in, 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 in the brotherhood. Man. There are certain things you you, you only you only do, you know. A lot of times, Jake Jake getting in that uh, oh why are you keep on talking about women? But it's keep coming up. A lot of times, Jake getting in that high school mindset to where they want to brag on women that they, wow. they got. Well, keep that to yourself, man. You know, Cause that could that could I got you, brother. Then that that could be a stumbling block, man. Are well, you talking about how much money you make? Doing this and doing that. that. That could be a stumbling block, man. Each brother got their own lot that they have to, they have to, uh, uh, first of all, find. Right. And once they find, they have to uh, grow in that, man. That's right. And manifest into a better person in that lot. Some brothers are not going to uh, do so well with a lot of women, man. Boy, boy, that, and that's being uh, modest. Some brothers aren't going to do well with a gang of money because they're irresponsible. Yeah. You know? So don't, don't you can't mold somebody into what you you what you perceive as an Israelite, man. That's not according to the scriptures, man. And that's the premises that we're talking about, man. Understanding these scriptures 
so you can better understand uh, balance. You know, because this that's what the, these scriptures encompass, man. Along with prophecy. Along with, you know, uh, statute commandments. You know? Go ahead, brother. Okay. First Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as, spake as a child. Uh -huh. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. That's right, man, because... Well, that's not, not talking about literally was it's, 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 uh, it, could, it could go both ways. We ain't talking about literally a child, but it also talking about coming into this thing. Because you're liking as a child once you come to this thing, right? right? So a lot of childish things like, oh, Brad, don't try to get as many women as you can. That's, that's out the door, man. Or trying to get as much money you can. That's out the door. The biggest thing now is these scriptures, man. And trying to understand these scriptures. That's right. You know? Trying to be the man. That's essentially why you're doing it for your pride. All that is, is, is out the door now, man. And now you're just trying to be a good person. And the guideline of these scriptures, man, is the Holy Ghost. You know? You know, Jake, Jake and, and, and Gene Mexican run circles around uh, most of the people on planet Earth. And that's not even an overstatement. But you're still feeling in life a lot of times. And I'm not talking about financially like Nate. I'm not talking about like the females like the world. I'm talking about as being a good person, man. And having this hermit. A lot of things that we endure is because we be messing up, man. A lot of it, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, but you, you might have a freak accident. A lot of times, Jake is Jake. Jake is a uh, is suffering not as a Christian man, suffering as a murderer man, because you being you doing stuff that is not expedient. You know. Go ahead. Right, this is a uh, Sirach chapter twenty-seven, uh, verse twenty-seven, or oh, chapter thirty-seven, mm -hmm. exactly thirty-seven, verse twenty-seven. My son, prove thy soul and all thy life. And see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. Read it one more time. Your voice is on my This is Sirach, uh -huh. chapter 37, verse 27. Uh -huh. My son, prove thy soul in thy life, and see what is evil for it, and give not that unto it. Mm. It says, prove your life and see what is evil for it, man. And that might be different for each person, man. You know? You know? But this brother could, can endure and, and, and do and understand. It's going to be different for me. It's that piece of brother plus press nine. What I, what I, uh, what I, what I go do in my life is going to be different for somebody else, man. You know? We're all about it here. But the biggest thing is it's going to be a stone block, man. That's the more knowledge that this brother may have than I, than I, than I'm not necessarily ready for. You know, he had, I had to build up to that. You know, but the biggest thing is understanding these scriptures, man, and understanding a lot. You know, <clears throat> go ahead. Huh? For all things are not profitable for all men. Mm -hmm. Neither have every soul pleasure in everything. That's right. Neither uh, uh, every soul has pleasure in everything, man. You know. Like you was talking about, not every brother has the same has the same. Uh, you know, not every brother has has uh, the same tempers towards certain things. Mm -hmm. or, you know, the same likes, the same dislikes. That, like the brother was saying, certain things might that you that you're able to deal with might set another brother off. That's right. Well, you know, I mean, the biggest thing is, like, I keep on reiterating because it's very important. I Man, I understand these scriptures so you can understand and, 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 and obtain that Holy Ghost. Uh, let me get something real quick. And we can, I know y'all brothers got uh, precepts. I got you. Go to uh, St. John 14 and uh, start at like 2 3. Yeah. 
St. John chapter 14, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. That's right. If a man love Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, you're going to keep his word, man. You keep his word, man. Don't compromise it. You know? Understand these scriptures and understand what time it is, man. Keep the Lord's word, man. It's going to get you out of a lot of trouble. It's, it's written for a reason. The Al Shah said it for a reason. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. That's right. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. Mm -hmm. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. That's right, man. That's right. That's and that's 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 profound, man. The, the most high. If you understand the implication of that, the, the creator of the universes, man, he gave you outside these scriptures. You know? He gave us these scriptures, man. You know? For a reason, man. For a guideline for Israel on how to conduct their son. And you know, you, you, have, to, you have to be... Uh, Mindful of that, man. This is for us. You know? Go ahead, Doc. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, mm -hmm. he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. That's right, man. So what's the Comforter? People like to get simple and say, oh, it's the Holy Ghost and make me feel funny and flap around. No. Comfort of these scriptures, man. It's just Yahweh Shah. Uh, what's that? First John. Uh, one, one. John 1. John 1. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let him finish that. I got you. Or uh, I see you got something too. I got you. Go ahead. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Okay. Verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Mm -hmm. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Mm -hmm. Let Not as the world gave, he give it unto you. He gave it to us, the elect, man. So don't, don't, don't take it in, in, in vanity, man. Understand these scriptures, man. Understand the Holy Ghost. And utilize the Holy Ghost in your everyday life, man. It ain't just for cutting people, man. It ain't just to set yourself apart. It's to save your life, man. That's right. This is scripture here to save your life. You should conduct yourself as such, man. Don't be lackadaisical and utilize these scriptures, man. And don't compromise yourself, man. You got one there? I'll just move on to that verse. Uh, let not your heart be troubled, mm -hmm. neither let it be afraid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to say something about that. Go ahead. The last line again. Okay. Uh, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That's what I'm saying. That's your mind. You know what I'm saying? Them demons don't play on your mind and have certain things going on in your head that's going to make you think that you're not a lick. You good. You can leave it right there. You can, uh, they, they, them demons that have you thinking that you're not of the nation. It had you thinking uh, all types of stuff. They say don't let your heart be troubled. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta take hold of that. You gotta pray them demons off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we're the children of the Most High. That's why we're able to stand up as bold as we do in the face of these devils. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else doing that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And Jeremiah 28 and 8, when they said the prophets before me and the prophets before thee of old, they was all having to go through the same thing. They was all having to go through the same thing. Hell. You know what I'm saying? Whether you got a problem or not. Or whether you whether you can just man up and take it, whatever your lot is, if you up your leg, you're gonna be doing a certain thing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the the elect, the elect ain't mocking the most high's name. They ain't coming with all these whack doctrines. They getting into this word, they studying hard, they being diligent to make their calling the election sure. That's right. And the biggest thing is like, uh my bad. I got the fucking thing back. Yeah, okay. And the biggest thing what the brother said is, 
is utilizing what you're going to learn, man. Exactly. What are you learning it for? If what you're not you learning it for? You know? <laughs> Why are you here, man? But to ask yourself, I have to ask myself that. I'm not saying this thing like I'm perfect or, you know, I don't even You know? Why are we here? You know? There's no, there's, there's no reason why I'm just, you know, the IKM out here is making the same mistake that you made, you know, uh, two years ago, three years ago. Shoot, I, I dare say nine months ago. You know? Because you have the scriptures as a guideline, man. Take heed to them. They're not here for no reason. This brother right here had a precept, and I got you. Okay, this, this is a Sirach. Chapter 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the uh, meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecy. That's right, man. You're going to give your mind over this, you're going to be occupied with prophecy, prophecy man. Right. Being occupied with prophecy is going to keep you grounded, man. Because you're not going to be making those petty mistakes that you made, man. You're going to be too engulfed in the scriptures, man. Right. You know? It's hard to think about box if you're worried about, you know what I'm saying? Or not worry, but uh, getting yourself up to to just to endure maybe being in a trunk concentration camp. That's not sex. Or not being able to eat. That's coming, man. That's right. So you're occupied in that. You're not gonna make you're not gonna show you you're not gonna make those petty mistakes, man. You know? That you know that flesh is gonna be there, man, but you know, more and more if you did uh uh practice on just cutting yourself off, man, it's not gonna be there anymore, man. But the correction it's gonna be there but not as much. You know? Because you constantly deny yourself. And you're occupied in prophecy, man. Did you have something Kind of. Uh, this is just backing up what the brother said. What the document said is just um, going into praying without ceasing. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verse 17. Just pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For in, everything, in everything, give thanks. Because it tell you it, it tell you that every now and then something's going to go your way, but for, for the most part, it's not. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But when you do, when you do run across one of them uh, issues or one of them problems that you like, oh, you know what I'm saying? To where it hits you out of nowhere and all that, you got to thank the most high for that too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way of showing you that he's dealing with you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna put nothing on you. You can't handle. That's right. So when he do put something on you, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got prayer. You got his son to fall back on. You got the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? Because we take care of each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no issues or no problem with us taking care of each other because shit like that do happen. To us. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. We got, we always gotta expect the unexpected. Go ahead. That's right. And everything give thanks for this is the will of the power and Masiach Yahushua concerning you. He says this is that's his will, man. Yep. Hey man, one side to mess you up just to keep you grounded. <laughs> I got this up for you. You know, and that's necessary in this thing, man. It's very necessary to, to keep yourself grounded in this thing. Because you you know, you start living your life and you forget it, you know, most I put spirit on you to forget about these scriptures and get, forget about the yeah. end times, man. Yeah. And never once in a while you need to get slapped in the face. But hey, you still in hell, man. <clears throat> that's right. But the scriptures tell you that. It talks about moderation, man. What's that in Proverbs 30? Is it 31 or 30? Give me what's sufficient unto me. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, I got you, sir. I got you. Go ahead. First Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. That's mm. right. I want that to come out to us spirit because I have quoted that. I want that to come out. Go ahead, huh? Well, let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Uh-huh. Judgment going to begin with us first, man. Yeah. He had to weed out all these people who say, okay, they, they're part of GMS, but not really, aren't really. There's people out there that's just eating popcorn, really, and watching the show. 
A lot of people are just in GMS because we know a lot of scriptures, man. You know? Not anything, you know, uh, wholeheartedly. And most I can weed you up. How you gonna do that? Put them demons on you? And then you gonna see what you about, man. Come mm -hmm. Go ahead, huh? and, if, and if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the, the mm -hmm. gospel of God? Yeah, so we catching hell. What you think gonna happen when the Most High unleashed all the demons on these people, man? What you going to do? The RFID chip is coming. Mm -hmm. You know these black women going to take you. Mm -hmm. And when I was thinking this uh, today, man, with that chip, they're probably going to be uh, uh, doing all types of tests on these people, man. Mm -hmm. And playing them with, you know, all types of just biochemical uh, uh, weapons. So when it, every time you feel like uh, uprising, okay, we got something for you. Release it in your body, man. Yep. Take your life. You know, ain't no telling what this white man's going to do, man. Concentration camps. Not being able to eat. You know, seeing your kids getting bashed in the head. All that's coming for these people, man. You know? But the most I put us do minor stuff right now. And the, and, and the totality of things is minor. Oh, your girl left you. Okay. I mean, it's messed up right now. What? Man, you're going to have all the women you want in the king of heaven. Oh, your car broke down. Man, you gonna have a cherry. Right. No. If I can just say this to us. Go ahead. I mean, in these times, it's it's a blessing to have, you know, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding <clears throat> to be able to to understand these scriptures, you know? Because you could be out there bugged out right now and not have a clue. That's right, you know, you could be out there and not knowing what the hell is going on. And you could just be another two-third, you know, or you could just be out there in the world not knowing what the hell is going on, just bugged out, you know. That's right, you that's know? right, man. You just got to be, you know, thankful that the Lord is dealing with you and he's giving you, you know, just he's giving you the opportunity to be in this thing and he's giving you the good gift and the gospel to be able to understand this thing. That's right, that's right. You could be out there and just be... You know, so just get off the way of being the most high. Trying to go out versus him actually dealing with you and love the word. You might be saved. That's right. right. It's in itself. Yeah, man. At least the most high gave us a chance. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You know, at least the most high gave us a chance, man. I got you. I got you, brother. The most, the most high gave us a chance, man, to be to be uh to be saved, man. Like the brother saying, that's a blessing. Yeah. You know. I think that demon, man, that demon would jump with you like, damn. That's just the truth, man. Just like, damn, I can't win right now. I'm the truth. That, that demon would jump on you, man. I could have been doing this, couldn't that. What, 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 what could you really be doing, man? You could say that all day. That's a demon, man. But guess what? The likelihood of you doing the stuff you said you were going to do, you probably weren't going to do it anyway, man. Probably gonna have a regular old job, mad frustrated. At least you now you know why you mad frustrated. Yeah. You know? Go ahead, brother. Uh, first Peter, the fourth chapter, uh, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful as unto a faithful creator. That's right, man. Keep doing what's right because you know it's the right thing. You know it's gonna be me rewarded for that, man. That's right. Can I say this too, man? Because a lot of guys out there thinking, you know, when certain things happen that we just somehow not supposed to be going through anything, man. The scriptures say that the servant is not greater than the master. You know, so if Yahweh Shah, our Savior, you know, the suffering that he endured, you know, up leading to the point of his uh, crucifixion, you know, all that he went through, how, how much more, you know, are we going to suffer, you know? So we should rejoice, like, you know, when certain things happen, hoping that the Most High is dealing with us, you know? And I just want to get, like, he, he was reading it, but I want to start up a little bit more, because I was holding it. Uh, this is 1 Peter 4 and 12. 
Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Right. Don't don't think that what you're going through is just uh, new on the planet Earth. Like your car breaking down is the end of the world. Your woman leaving you or anything, man. Losing a job. Like it's just a brand new phenomenon that just happened. There's been 100% uh, uh, employment until this time, until you lost your job. Yep. <laughs> this hey, man gives me a mindset of thinking that we supposed to win on this side, but we always gotta constantly remind ourselves that this 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 is this, this is not our world, man. This is not our rest. We're put here to lose right now. That's right. You know? And the more you get into that mindset, the more the most high I start throwing you those little balls here and there mm -hmm. to to make this situation uh more sustainable to where you can operate and function to preach this word, <clears throat> which is most important. You know, not to uh, be getting uh, propped by niggas in the street for how many hoes you got or what type of whip you got or whatever, you know, carnal shit that niggas hope for on this side or even brothers that proclaim to be in this truth, man. We're supposed to lose on this side, man. It says that he that uh, loses this life shall find his life, you know? That's right. right. Yeah. Now, now, if I could say this, not to look back with what the saying, but just for duality's sake. Most I will provide for you, man. That's All right. right. You know? And it talks about that in Matthew the sixth chapter, man. The most I will provide for you, man. But you have to you have to fight for him. You seek the kingdom of heaven first, man. The most I you know, if it's his will, he'll give you a straight looking car. Mm -hmm. or an okay apartment. Or a good apartment. Depend on your life. But it's all about the Most High and doing and doing His will, man. That's right. You know, See, not trying to get a Benz or just lusting after these things, man, of the world, man. You know, you had somewhere. Yeah, like back you up on that duality. Not, not that there's nothing wrong with having a Benz, you know. <laughs> <laughs> certain yeah. things to him, but right. you know, you gotta seek ye the kingdom first, you know? Right. And I just want to finish off that, that verse in first Peter 4 and 13. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Because the scriptures say that we're joint heirs of Yahweh Shah. Because even Peter, you know, he asked in Matthew 19, you know, we doing all this, what shall our reward be? Right, right. You know? So ultimately, we're seeking our reward in the kingdom, man. That's right. Not trying to not trying to get down here. Because you know this world is ending, and you know it's a catch trying to get riches down here, man. It's a serious soul. That's right. You know? Well, our life belongs uh, to the creator, man. And he gave us the wisdom and understanding that and understanding to know that. And that's a blessing, man. Um, this is uh, Hebrews uh, 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. That's right. Who the Lord loveth, he chastises, man. If he, it's like a coach, you know, that is a good player. He jumps down your throat. Yep. That sorry player, man, you miss a tackle or, you know, miss a free throw. He ain't worried about you. You sorry. So he ain't going to penalize you. But the person that he cares about, his star player, he going to get on him, man. You know? If he's a good coach. Go ahead, huh? And scourge every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God deal with you as with sons. That's right, man. Right. If you endure, the most I'm going to deal with you as a son, man. That's a powerful, that's a powerful statement. You know? If he deals with you as a son, that means you're going to receive an inheritance, man. That's right. You know? Go ahead, up. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? That's right. That's it on there? I don't know. But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons? That's right, man. So you got to ask yourself, what, what type of man do you want to be? You want to be a bastard or you want to be a son? Uh, me personally. I would like to have that inheritance, man. That's right. 
you know? And I'm sure that I can here for the same, man. And serve brothers out there for the same way too. But in order to obtain that, guess what? I go to hell, man. And it's going to get worse out here, man. It's going to get worse out here. You know? But trust in the most high. Read these scriptures, man. And he'll, he'll provide for you, man. That's right, brother. You know? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Break. I got something for you. Uh, let me get this one right here, right? and I got you. All right. <clears throat> uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Mm -hmm. Give me neither poverty nor riches. That's right. Give me neither poverty nor riches. I don't like to be on top. But I really don't want to be at the bottom. Right. Yep. I just want moderation, man. Right. But you, well, how do you learn that, though? Through scriptures, man. That's how you learn that. Go ahead. Uh, feed me with food convenient for me. That's right. Feed me with food convenient for me, man. You know, that knowledge. Convenient for me. You know? Go ahead. Lest I be full. And deny thee and say, who is the Lord? That's right, man. Get a whole, obtain a whole bunch of riches and be like, what God? Stop believing in some BS like Scientology or uh, witchcraft or atheism. Forget all about the most high. Stop doing anything in the world. Stop doing anything in the world. In this world. Mm -hmm. Of all places. Go ahead. Or lest I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. That's right, man. And then... You know, on the flip side, you got people out there that just scratching to survive and doing whatever it takes and praying to the Most High for forgiveness, knowing that they ain't shouldn't be doing that in the first place. You know, it's just out there, out there doing some outlandish things, man. So pray for moderation. You know. Most high gonna knock you out your hot your hot horse every once in a while. He needs to. It was uh, kind of in the scriptures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to one to one of the most noted prophets ever. He had he got knocked off his horse. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So if we ain't greater than Yahweh, I mean we ain't greater than Paul or Yahweh or Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? I'll say the Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? He had to he had to pay for his own sins. Mm -hmm. He had to examine himself, you know what I'm saying? When he got put in that body, when he got put in that body as Yahweh Shah, when he came to die for the elect of the nation of Israel, he had to go through everything that you got to go through. That's right. You know what I'm saying? If if, if the Lord had a car, his car would have been breaking down. Yep. You know what I'm saying? His yep. job, his 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 boss would have been messing with him too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's say we ain't greater than our mouths. It ain't even got to the point to where they're gonna start torturing us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The stories in the Maccabees and how Paul prophesied, I mean, how uh, John the Revelator prophesied that it was going to be brothers getting beheaded for this truth. We ain't, it hasn't got thick yet. You right. know what I'm saying? You can still go get you something to eat. That's right. You can still go get you some box or, you know what I'm saying? You can still provide for your brothers without envy or strife. You know what I'm saying? But when it's 20 of y'all in a room and it's one piece of meat, we're going to see how brotherly you can be, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to pitch a tent and start a fire and cook in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a shit about your car. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that the stuff that we find ourselves complaining about now is very minute. That's right, man. When you look at the biggest the, the, the bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? We getting prepared for the bigger picture. That's right. Ain't none of us starving yet. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had, I would say brothers have to start getting kicked out their apartments where we got to be eight deep in a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's coming, man. And when that hit the fan, when that, when that, when that hit the fan, that's when, that's, that's when, that's when the real sifting began. When it start getting ugly around here, man. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to, that's why you got to constantly examine yourself. That's right. You gotta stay examining yourself. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get uh Second Corinthians 13 and just hold it. You got it, my own. <clears throat> and uh, just to pin it back, what the brothers, uh, what the brothers say. Now, how you gonna examine yourself, man? Through the scriptures, man. The Holy Ghost, the Comforter. That's right. You know. And if I 
Somebody said they had some. I did. I had I had uh, <coughs> Second Corinthians Go ahead. thirteen. Yeah, I got it. I read it. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse five. Examine yourselves whether you are in the faith. That's right, man. Examine yourself whether or not you're in this thing. You know? Great indicator that you're in this thing is you doing as a as man in this thing, man. That you catching hell. Right. Catching hell. Right. And if I can say this, this is uh this is that grace. Jake Old is worried about all this stuff that you don't have in the first place. Your car ain't even paid off. Your apartment, you don't own it. Your woman technically ain't yours. Your kids is the property of the state and the government anyway. Let's, if you don't believe me, uh, 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 do, some, do, uh, do some to them that the state, the state don't lie, they'll take them away. All the stuff you worry about is not yours, not in your hand anyway, man. You know? That's right. You might well just get into these scriptures. You know? And I'm not saying now all the things I named, that's, I mean, just to go and do the thing, that's, that's hard. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, just get over it, you know? Those are things when people go through that could bug you out, but you have the scriptures, man. Yeah. That's right. You know? And then why do you have them for that, man? Why do you have my skin and shot for that? Because you could be catching hell for no reason at all. Well, in your mind. Yeah. You know? Use your scriptures, brothers. In every aspect of your life. That's what they're here for. They're for the elect. Most high willing, we're a part of the elect. That's right. If you think you, that you got shot, then conduct yourself as such, man. You ask more than I? Yeah, yeah. So, examine yourselves whether you are in the faith. Prove yourselves. Know ye not your own selves, how much Yaki Hawash is in you, unless you be reprobates? That's right, man. It says prove yourself. You know? I have another precept for you for what you had just said before I read that. Go ahead, brother. Like get, just get into the scriptures. That's uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 12, verse 9. Therefore we also be it, uh, therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things. Uh-huh. For that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us. You have the holy scriptures in our hands to comfort us, man. You feeling down and out, man, get into this word, man. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you feel a lot better. Mm -hmm. Read Job. Mm-hmm. Do we ain't man, we, we haven't been through anything yet. No, no. You know, and if I can say this, man, a lot of stuff that you've been through, if you've been through it already, man, stop crying, man. And do what you need to do. Let me stop being a nigga. Yeah, man, stop, you know stop. Because the scriptures make a distinction between uh, suffering as a Christian and suffering as a coon. You know right. what I'm saying? So a, lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that you go through is because you teeter tired. You being double minded. You know what I'm saying? Warm. What half the week you Israelite, half the week, uh, half the week you uh pookie. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And when and and, and, and and whatever your Hebrew name is, your government name, just like okay, my I'm Mike. <laughs> Mike can get y'all stop killed. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mike gotta die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you come to this truth, Whoever you was gotta die. Once you get that Hebrew name and that garment and that understanding and all that, your life is supposed to change. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And if it don't, if it don't, you gonna get exposed, man. That's right. That's why that, that, that's why you gotta constantly examine yourself. You gotta recognize the spirit that the Most High has put on you to get into this thing. That's right. You know what I'm right. saying? And if you play with it, if you play with it, if you play with it, he ain't gonna let it. They don't play with the Most High. Don't please him. That's Obeying right. him does. That's right, man. Now, if I can just say this too, you know, just because you're in this thing, you get a garment, you get your name, and all that good stuff, you got to continuously grow in this thing. That's right. You know, the scriptures say that a tree that doesn't produce fruit, you know, it's going to get hemmed down and cast it to fire. So right. you got to always, always be growing and building yourself up in this thing. That's you know, right. and I'm going to bring out a scripture to back that up. You know, that's uh, 2 Timothy <coughs> chapter 2. Verse 15, and that shows study to show thyself approved unto, you know, unto God, 
A workman that needed not to be ashamed. A workman. A workman. This is your job. Yep. This is your job. Just like you make sure you show up on time for that white man. Just like you make sure you show up back on time for him from breaks and lunches and all that. You have to take this job the same way. That's right. Sure. You have to take this job the same way, man. Yep. Right. Some more of that? Come. Uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Getting into these words, understanding what it's talking about, so you can rightly divide the word of truth. So when these people come up with their madness, you can combat yourself. You can right. defend the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Right. You have to study to be able to do that. If you're not studying, if you're not studying the way you're supposed to, it's not gonna happen for you, man. And the most right. I gotta give you that spirit. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? If you if, you, if, a, if a couple of days go by and you haven't read nothing or studied nothing or looked over nothing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta ask the most high this son to, 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 to put that spirit on you. Make me feel like I felt when I first heard this. You know what I'm saying? Make me be able to, 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 to swallow down that bitterness without it coming back up right. and exposing me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Got a precept. Sometimes, sometimes the most high will put you through, through some fire to wake you up, man. That's right. You know? Because the most high is the one that's righteous. That's right. We try to get on his team. We try to get in his good graces. He don't gotta do nothing for us. You know what I'm saying? Sure, that's right. So when you do, when you do uh, get that proverbial bone thrown your way, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you can to protect that ball. That's right. Remember that commercial we used to trip out of with the Ray LaMontagne song, that trouble. Yeah. You remember that commercial how that dog kept on putting his bone in different spots, and he wasn't comfortable where he was leaving it, so he kept going back to get it. He was protecting that ball. You know what I'm saying? These scriptures is our bottom, man. You can't just leave it anywhere. You can't just put it down and come back. It, it might not be there. That's right. You understand? That's right. You got something? Bring out what you got and then bring out what you got. Okay. You had something? Um, I just had a definition. All right, bring it out. Uh, this, is, this, this word keeps coming up, opportunity. Um, so I want to bring out the definition. Uh, opportunity, a favorable or advantage circumstance or a combination of circumstances. Somebody get uh, Ephesians 2 and 8. Um, a favorable or suitable occasion or time. Mm -hmm. A chance for progress or advancement. A chance for progress or advancement. Start that, read that again from the top while somebody get okay. Ephesians 2 and 8. I'm going to read Ephesians 2 and 8 as soon as you get done with that. Got it. All right. Read the definition and then read the scripture. Opportunity. A favorable or advantage circumstance or a combination of circumstances. Uh -huh. <clears throat> a favorable or suitable occasion or time. Yep. A chance for progress or advancement. Okay, now does everybody get that chance? Nope. If two thirds of the nation of Israel got to die, and all of the heathen nations got to go with them, either die or go into slavery, who is that pertaining to? That opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and sign off. Did you have Ephesians? I got Ephesians. Oh, okay. It's a lot. All right, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved. Right. Through faith, and that not of yourselves. Mm -hmm. It is the gift of the gift of God. You don't give yourself that opportunity. Ain't no free will, man. If it was free will, if it was free will involved, it wouldn't be a two-thirds. That's right. Because the two-thirds is the ones filling up the churches. That's right. That's right. So how how does that how does that work itself out? If everybody don't get that gift, you know what I'm saying. So if you do find yourself with the gift, you got to go hard as you can to the end. And if you don't, you're gonna be one of the Matthew 12 and 44 type dudes. You know what I'm right. saying? Where them demons come back on your door. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. Yeah, not of works. I was out there on Friday. I was out there on Saturday. I was out there on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I did three sit downs this week. Whole time. You know what I'm saying? He got another dude warm in his bed. Yeah. Yeah. Another boy. You know what I'm saying? Out of here. No man get left behind. It's all about the United the, the, the nation of Israel, but you still the money. Apart, you know what I'm saying? You can't do it like that, man. You can't serve the most high man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have you ain't gonna have the complete knowledge, wisdom, and understanding 
and then everything you want in the world. It don't work like that. You ain't for to be the man at the club and the head of a camp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. It's either gonna be one or the other. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The most I said it would set things two and two against each other. That's right. That's how, that's the way it's always been. So you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to you got to maneuver. You got to maneuver as somebody with a brain that works. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then you're gonna get your little brain fought or whatever, but that's what they're examining yourself as for. You know right. what I'm saying? If you if you feel yourself slipping, it's the scriptures say a wise man know when he's slipping. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know when you, because you could be slipping and not even know. You know what I'm saying? It take a man with integrity to realize, oh, I can't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Repent right. and actually not do it again. It ain't a lot of that going around the nation of Israel right now. You know what I'm saying? That's why the most high city. Everybody's trying to work out their own salvation and you get caught up in certain, you know what I'm saying? You get caught up in certain situations to where you really don't know what to do when you ain't getting this. You always know what to do if you go to the scriptures, because the scriptures give you the straight skin. You know what I'm saying? But if you try to do, if you try to lean to your own understanding on any situation, you probably gonna come by taking the L. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wins is far few between for us, mm -hmm. but at least we understand it. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. everybody don't get that gift. And I want to say something too. When when you in this truth, ain't no backup plans. We didn't already gave up. You know what we could have been in this world whether it's right. you know nfl or you whatever the situation is you know they, we don't have nothing to turn back to into the world mm -hmm. you know we full forward you know full, full full speed ahead with this thing and we hasten in the day every minute that's right because this is this is a, this is our opportunity you know lord willing with the elect to get on a chariot and be those great men that he said he's going you know the, the you know the disciples are like what are we going to get yeah. you know Second Ezra chapter two. You know what? What are we gonna yeah. get? You yeah. know, that's what we're fighting for. That's right. That's so right. if you want to be a man right now, go ahead and and, and, and be the man. Make Satan. Go ahead. Good luck. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. I want to say whoever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes in GMS that got that next spirit on. Yep. Let my mama, mama, mama throw that out there. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that put GMS in front of their name ain't ain't what that is. That's right. That's just the truth of the matter. That's right. And they gonna get sifted too. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't afraid for your life and afraid for yeah. if you look, yeah. it ain't gonna work for you, man. That's right. <laughs> you the fear of the most high is the beginning of you knowing anything. Yeah. And if you don't, hey, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm shaking in my proverbial boots. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta watch everything you do. Right. You gotta watch what you eat, you gotta watch what you say, you gotta watch who you be around. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Real quick. It's too many things that you can fall into. It's easy as hell. Somebody get up. Uh, in the end at the straight gate. Matthew 7. Seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody get that, man. I want to, this ain't, it, it ain't no cakewalk, man. Slipping, slipping in the darkness. That, uh, yeah. that war song. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the last yeah. thing you want to do. It's, right. it's, it's look to the left and see that fire. And then look to the right and see that water. And your knees are already weak. You've been on the tight when you're you on that tightrope, man, you got to be strong as hell to do that tightrope, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about your core got to be right, your legs got to be right, all that got to be right. That's right. Be but that's what I'm saying, you building your spiritual muscles to be able to walk that tightrope by getting to these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It's Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. At the straight gate. That's straight. S-T-R-A-I-T. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Position of difficulty. I mean, it's going to be hard. Go ahead. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. The church is filled up. That's right. It's easy to be wicked. It's yep. easy to be wicked. Yep. You living in America, so of course it's easy to be wicked. You know what I'm saying? So But yeah, man, you living in a, in, a, in a place that's built off wickedness, so it's easy to be wicked. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And many there be which go in their act. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot of people going into them churches, man, thinking they're doing the right thing. Go ahead. Because straight is the gate. And straight is the gate. That's an S T R A I T. Mm -hmm, that's right. Straight is the gate. That's a hard gate to get through, man. It's a hard gate to get through. That's why it's only a elect amount of people that's going to do it. If everybody could do it, there wouldn't even be no need for the, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be, everybody can't be uh, uh, elected. Go ahead. 
and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. You know what I'm saying? And when you on that tightrope, when you on that tightrope, and your knees get to giving way, and them calves get to burning, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people gonna fall off that tightrope. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But when you build your spiritual muscle by getting into these scriptures like my God was going into, the more you get into these scriptures and the more you understand, that's how you build yourself up. Because you see, the service is still a touring. Yeah. And it's still a tightrope act. So it's somebody that's strong enough to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you strong enough to walk that line? Are you strong enough to get all the way across that tightrope in front of the whole world? Are you? Yeah. It's only one way to find out. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Um, and few there be that find it. Few that be that, it's few that find it, man. I can line up a thousand people right now and make them all walk across the tightrope. The only one that's going to make it is the one that do it all the time. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, you can't just take some random person and throw them in this truth. No, nah, that ain't how it works. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to think about how you came into this thing. It wasn't okay for none of us to get into this thing. We had to get into this. We had to read. We had to study. We had to, you know what I'm saying? We had to learn how to be quiet. We had to learn how to learn. Had to apply what you learn. Somebody hold us up? I got some. All right, bring it up. Yeah, just backing you up, man, because like the spirit, like I believe last week at camp, we were just going into how that spirit of mediocrity you know, yeah. Nate, yeah. the greatest example that's displayed amongst Israel right now. But Nate is probably, you know, a smaller issue out of like a bigger issue within Israel as a whole. You know, Jake just kind of going along to get along. Yeah. That yeah. spirit of just being lazy, even amongst me sometimes, you'll get that demon. Damn, but I know it'll be three days I haven't read and yeah. I feel like shit. Like, yeah. you know, I yeah. can't believe I just let this amount of time go by. Yeah. They ain't even touch my body. Yeah. You know, but we can't be them type of men, man. That's you know, right. like the brother was reading, you know, the study and the show that I self approved right. as workmen. And a workman continues to labor. So here's the right. scripture I want to bring out. Okay. Uh, this is Proverbs 12 and 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule. That's plain. I don't need no breakdown. That's right. <laughs> is it most of that? Huh? Yeah, keep breaking. Yeah. But the slothful shall be under tribute. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you lazy niggas. <laughs> it's the diligent versus the lazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jake don't understand, man. Like right now, you know, the most high through the power of his son, Yahweh Shah, he's preparing the elect, man, to be a governmental body. That's right. right. And man, we ain't ready to take on that task right now, man. You know? Yeah, but right. in order to get prepared, this is the process that fire that we have to go through. Yep. And as a part of being built up to be men of the elect, you gotta labor, you gotta be diligent, man. That's right. You know? That's right. We gotta be on fire, man. That's a good point that you made. We need to be praying for that spirit that the most high gave us when we first came into this right. thing. Steady always wanting to learn more, you know? Yep. Because if we just continue to have that spirit on us, man. Hopefully the Most High show us mercy so we can get about this thing, man. Right. And be able to, to bear rule of all these nations, man. That's right. In the kingdom, you know? You know I'm saying? If diligent, if being diligent is a problem for you, you ain't gonna make it, man. You ain't gonna make it, man. You gotta want to do this. You know That's what right. I'm saying? You gotta want to do this. Go ahead. Hebrews 6 and 11. And we desire... That every one of you show uh, do show the same diligence. We desire, we desire. Look up desire. We desire that all must be on the same page. That's a must. You know what I'm saying? That's a must. Everybody, everybody that's in this truth got to be on the same page. You know what I'm saying? And the ones that's on the same page is uh is is, is the lit. You know what I'm saying? You got 144 men, and then you got the one third. That's going to all be on one accord, man. That's the way the Most High set it up. So that's the way you know it's going to go down. You just don't know who those people are going to be. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But you shouldn't be worried about who the people are going to be. Worry about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be brotherly, study. You know what I'm saying? Do what you're supposed to do according to the scriptures. And hope. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bring it out. Oh, yeah, this is... Uh... We desire that every one of you do show the same diligence that you that we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence 
Everybody, the 144,000 and the one third, all of them, every single one of them got to want to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the ticket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The name and following the commandments the best you can, it's the, the blueprint has been given. You know what I'm saying? You got it in the blue letter? What you yeah. got it on? Uh, I got it on a uh, dictionary reference. We're going to read both of them. Okay. Read yours right quick, dog. Okay. Uh, this is from the uh, dictionary reference. This is desire. Uh, noun, verb used with object. Uh, to wish or long for. To crave. Or long for to do what? Crave. Crave. Go ahead. Want. Mm -hmm. To express. Yep. Wish to obtain. Wish to obtain the elect. To have everybody on the same accord, you know what I'm saying? To ask for, request. The yeah, noun. Ask for, yep. ask for. What, you, what, what do you pray for? Yep. To request. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Go ahead. A longing or craving. As a for. longing or a craving. That means you really want it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the power really want the elect to be on the same accord, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's saying. We desire that all of us be on one accord. Yeah. Go ahead. As for something that brings satisfaction or enjoyment. Kingdom. Yep. The kingdom. And that and they got like a little small thing right by it says a desire for fame. It says the elect will have have the fame in the kingdom. And you know what I'm saying? You know that fame go to hunger. Yeah. We hungry for the kingdom, man. Yeah. Precept. All right, go ahead. This is uh finish. Yeah, yeah, I'll finish like, finish yours and then read yours, my God. We gonna we gonna get that definition too. Because we just gonna get it from yeah. It's, it's gonna all be saying the same thing when you look them, when you look these words up. Go ahead, Sana. Yeah, because this is I was trying to make the point that uh, it was originally made was uh, of how we gotta show the same diligence of when we first come into this thing all the way to the end. Right, right, right. So the scripture is saying, and we desire that every one of you you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. To the full assurance of hope to the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. That you don't be lazy, but you follow the elders that's been put before you that's helping you through the spirit of your how God shouldn't have a shot to get out of it. That's what that's talking about. <laughs> Matter of fact, read that read your definition. And then we're gonna read that again. So like from, from where you started from all the way through without stopping. Yeah, it's, it's tiny yeah. too. Uh, it is. This is uh, diligence in that scripture. It, the root word it shows here in the Strong's G 4692 is Uh It means the first definition is haste with haste, uh, earnestness, uh, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting, or striving after anything. Striving, promoting. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to call it to get out of here. That's it and that's all. You know what I'm saying? Anything besides being as, as, as good of a person as you can in the Lord's eyes to get out of here is unacceptable. If you got anything on your agenda other than that, you're in the wrong business. You came to the wrong party. You know what I'm saying? You showed them to a basketball game in the tux. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You showed them to a wedding with some basketball shorts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You showed up on the highways and byways without no Bible or no gun. Or no 12 tribe side. But you say you want to get out of here. Nah, man. That's right. Go ahead, sign up. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Mm -hmm. That ye be not slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Get into this thing and, and follow your examples. That's right. <laughs> that's the best way I can put that. For you, for you unlearned, you know what I'm saying? You non readers. <laughs> Was it some other that definition? Nah, that's it. Okay. All right, Mike, Mike Dollar, what you have? Uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Psalm 6, I started at 12. Wisdom is glorious and never faith away. Mm -hmm. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her. I'm gonna jump down to the 17th verse. All right. For the very uh, true beginning of her is to the desire of discipline. Right. And the care of discipline. The is desire. The desire of discipline. You gotta want discipline. Somebody look up discipline. 
Where you at? You know, he in an apartment as well. Just somebody look up the word visible. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Go ahead, keep going. And the care of discipline is love. Yeah. And love is the keeping of her laws. Love is the keeping of her laws, man. Love is the keeping of the laws. Go ahead. And the giving, and the giving he unto her laws in the insurance of incorruption. And in the assurance of what? Incorruption. In the assurance of incorruption. You got a desire to want that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just it, it ain't just something you can get at the store. It ain't something somebody can just randomly give you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find the desire to want to get out of here on a chariot on the bus stop. It ain't gonna just be sitting right there. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just gonna be checking your couch cushions. You know what I'm saying? That ain't how it worked. Go ahead. In the beginning, he unto her laws. So like in the giving, he unto her laws. Mm -hmm. Is the search of incorruption, right? And incorruption making us near unto the Most High. Incorruption make us closer to the Most High, man. Incorruption. Gotcha, definition. Gotcha, definition. All right. All right. This is the definition of discipline. It says trained mentally or physically by instruction or exercise. By instruction or exercise of what? This right here. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Um, the other one is obeying the rules, punished for misbehavior, the chast the chastised hill sat humbly in the corner. Hmm, who does that sound like? <laughs> that sound like the lid. Just don't get chastised and you know what I'm saying? To get that discipline. You know what I'm saying? Alright, now read your definition. This is a free dictionary.com discipline. Training expected to produce a specific character or mm. pattern of behavior. Mm. Read that again. Training expected right. to produce a specific character or pattern of behavior. You expect it to be a certain way. You know what right. I'm saying? If you want to be an elected Israelite, you got to you get that discipline from the scriptures. Go ahead. Especially training that produces moral or mental improvement. Especially the scriptures. <laughs> Read that again. Training expected to produce a specific character or pattern of behavior, especially training that produces moral or mental improvement. And you ain't gotta read nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we that's what we in these scriptures for. To get the discipline. To get the discipline so we don't have to accept the same fate that two thirds of these other nations are gonna have to go through. According to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. We got a priest that we can disciple from. Huh. One more priest. Sir. I bring that scripture. Bring yours out, man. Not to Zah, bring yours out. This is Wisdom Solomon 6 and uh, 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to a kingdom. The desire of wisdom brings you to a kingdom, man. You don't got to break that down, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't got to break that down. Read that again, my God. Okay. Therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to a kingdom. The strong one to understand this word is going to bring you into the kingdom of heaven. A strong one, a desire, a desire for the discipline that's going to get you to check yourself, examine yourself when you slip it. You did? What you got, Nazizah? Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though. It's too many. It's too many. Uh, it's too many people that that, that claim man the truth that's guilty of that. Read that again. Okay, this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The congregation of the dead is huge. You know what I'm saying? It's huge. The congregation of the dead is two thirds worth of this, the, the most beautiful nation on the planet. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to be a part of the congregation of the dead. We, through the spirit of Yahweh, should be how Shah woke up out of that. You know what I'm saying? All of us was once in the congregation of the dead. You know what I'm saying? And the congregation of the dead having fun like a mug, man. <laughs> you can't tell me the congregation of the dead ain't having fun. 
Because that's all they worried about. You got some over uh, a wall? Kind of, I just got a, a precept back up what the brother said. All right. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. For it's impossible for those who were once enlightened to have tasted of the heavenly gift mm. and mm -hmm. were made partakers of the Holy Ghost right. and have tasted the good word of, of the power and right. the powers of the world to come. That's the fallout scripture. That's the fallout scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You came into this thing, you was on fire, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was you vomited it up all that honey, man. Yeah. You took it, you know what I'm saying? You, you didn't you didn't go in moderation. You know what I'm saying? If the uh, uh, uh if the scriptures if the scriptures was a bottle, you was like Joe Breezy. You remember when that white boy tried to chug that whole bottle of Patron? <laughs> That's how you niggas be looking, man. <laughs> I suggest y'all look that video up. You know what I'm saying? It's when Joe Breezy tried to chug a bottle of Patron, just type that in YouTube. And that's what you dudes look like. That's what you dudes look like, man. When you come into this thing and you try to do too much. You know what I'm saying? You've been in this thing for six months and you want to think you one of the elders. That ain't how it works. That ain't how it works. You got to get in this thing, study. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn. You got to earn your way up out of here, man. Bring it out. This is uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 25, verse 16. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much, uh, eat so much as it is sufficient for thee. Eat as it's sufficient for you, man. That's right. What's sufficient for you ain't gonna make your tummy explode. You know what I'm saying? Moderation. You eat it in moderation, whatever it is. It sounds when you, you know what I'm saying, you get to, you get into studying, you know what I'm saying, next before you know it, seven, eight hours went by. Yeah. You got to back up off of it, marinate on what you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of just keeping on pushing and pushing and pushing, it's a way to do this thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures tell you how. Everything you do got to be in moderation, including this truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go stand on the patio and just marinate. Yeah. Take a deep breath, have a glass of wine. You know what I'm saying? Marinate on what the most high yeah. and his son gave Period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? Is it more of that? We're going to finish up with whatever you got left in that verse. That's going to be the last. Yeah, it's supposed to be the last. The rest of the verse. At least I'll be filled uh, there with and vomit. Yeah, at least you get full and vomit. You know what I'm saying? This vomit all over Israel right now. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For all, all the dudes that can't handle the honey, man. Yeah. We got a big mess to clean up. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Is that it? Come. All right, you know what I'm saying? With that. You know what I'm saying? All praises to you, Howard by Shimmy Howard Shot. Double honors to the elders. And all you brothers out there that's really doing this thing, man, that really want to get out of here, man, we love you to death. That's Let's right. get it. That's right. Let's get it. Man up and shot one. Shot one.